Hi friends, welcome to the series of introduction to bioinformatics. Previously we have used BLAST for nucleotide. In this video we will discuss about how to use BLAST for protein sequence. So just type NCBI and you will be right to NCBI web page. Okay. So, our main requirement is protein sequence in FASTA format or accession number of protein. So in this video also we will keep insulin as our example, insulin protein of homo sapiens as a query sequence. We have kept this insulin as example in majority of our videos. So just go to protein and then type insulin homo sapiens okay. and we are going to select the first sequence as the result which is accession number we have highlighted over there. So that particular sequence we will be taking for protein blast. So I will just copy paste that accession number. So we will go to the page of blast and then we will perform blast. Okay. So this is the web page of blast. We will select protein blast because our query sequence is protein. So I can type accession number over here. Okay, you can see a session number I have copy pasted over there or I can take FASTA sequence. Just click on FASTA. So I can copy paste whole FASTA sequence and I can paste it over there instead of a session number. So I have copy pasted. I will just remove that and I will keep a session number alone over there. So give a job title of my interest if I am interested to give an interest, so I will just type insulin broad as job title for this. Okay. So database which I am going to choose is non-redundant. So if we choose any other database, if we change default parameter, it will be highlighted in yellow color. Remember that. Yeah. So I will just keep non-redundant. I can include and exclude an organism in my result. Okay, so I will just type homo sapiens. I will click on exclude. So all results will be excluded homo sapiens. So I don't want that. So I will just unbox it. Okay. I will remove homo sapiens over here. Yeah. So in program selection algorithm, we have options such as Quick Blast E, Blast E, PSI Blast, Pi Blast, Delta Blast. So I will just select over here, show result in new window. And I will click on Blast. So we will get result over there. And I will click on the next option which we have Blast E. So in general we will be showing you various options which we have under protein blast and how to use them. So this is the result of quick blast key. Okay, you can see over there quick blast key. That is request ID. That is query ID. That is the session number again. Description insulin homo sapien molecule type amino acid query length 110 amino acids database name non redundant description of database and see and program blast program 2.8 zero okay. so this is the reason putative conserved domains have been detected for thin like growth factor like super family that is super family you can see color alignment score is there so you can see colors which are given over there so and over here you can see query length so 110 amino acids yeah that's right so you can see over there 1 200 numbers are given and that is alignment score. So if the score is red, that means alignment score is more. So identity and similarity is more in those particular sequences. So each line, each single line represent a particular sequence in the result. Okay. Yeah, you can see over there like that. So you just put your cursor on that line. So over here you can see the alignment score has been decreased from red to 
per pull. It is between 80 to 200. So that means as the score goes from right side to left, alignment score decreases. That means identity and similarity goes on decreasing spaces over there. So the alignment has not occurred for that particular region. So this is the first reason query 100% that is we value identity and that is the accession number okay, of the first sequence which has came as a result after the alignment. Okay. So, this is homo, homo sapien insulin synthetic construct. Okay. So, so click on that you will be directed to result further. So actual alignment where alignment has occurred you can see. So, identity is 100, positive 100, gaps 0 percent, the query has been aligned with that particular result. So, this is the result of plus P. So, we will see what is the last result. Let's click on alignment. Okay. So, over here you can see, so I have lost that point. So, just scroll down. So you can see over there 87 percent identity, 87 percent positive and 10 percent gaps. So those are 12 gaps. Okay. So this is how you can visualize your result of last three. score, total score, e value, identity, accession number, accession number, once you click on that accession number, you will get that particular sequence. So that was the result of last three. Now we will see a result of, so that was the result of with last three. This is the result of last three. Okay. So again, query ID, insulin, market type, query length. have non redundant colors. Okay, so you can see again color alignment score very long and red color. So each line again represent a particular sequence. Okay. So we we'll just see the result over here. That is the session number. So those are the session number of and identity is, is not decreasing somewhere. Okay, you can see identity has been decreased. So this three pro insulin one must so over there identity is just seventy seven percent for that particular sequence. So scroll up. So that was the result for blast P. Now we will go ahead with position specific iterated blast. Just click on blast and we will wait for the result. So PSI blast is based on iterations. So more and more iterations you do, so you get a sequence in the result as diverge sequences. Okay, so identity will be lesser. Okay, so we will see how we have we can perform iterations on the sequences. So we'll just wait for the result. Then the next blast is delta blast, domain enhanced lookup time accelerated blast. So in the meantime, we'll see the result of PSI blast whether it has come. So, okay. so it generally takes 30 to 40 seconds and also depending on your internet speed. So that is PSI blast iteration 1. Okay. So then again request ID, query ID, description, database name, and result page. So here you can see aligned sequences. That is the session number. Okay. So you can see run PSI blast iteration with uh, 2 with max 500. So by using that option you can perform second iteration. Okay. 
just click go over there we will have second iteration for PSI we will just wait till the result comes so generally within 30 seconds 35 seconds we get the result so just be patient till we get the result Result has came for PSI blast iteration 2. I have highlighted that. Again, we will see so, the result. You can see red lines have been decreased, that means the alignment score has been dropped. So, identity and similarity are less in this particular result. So, we will see with respect to identity. So the first sequence is different than the previous result which was in first iteration okay. and identity is also different. Okay. So you can see, so we click on ESI 3 blue so it will perform third iteration. So we will not go into that. Okay. So this is how we can perform ESI blast okay. and more and more iterations you perform then you will get divergent sequences ok so if you want to see how divergent sequences are related to your sequence then in that case you can go ahead with the PSI blast and so you can go just go to blast page and select PSI blast option ok so whatever blast you perform there has to be a logic to perform that kind of blast Okay, you need to have a particular biological question in your mind, then only perform that kind of blast. Just don't perform quick blast, PSI blast, PHI blast, delta blast without any biological question. So it will not give you a clear cut idea why you should perform that kind of blast. Okay, so we will see the result of third iteration as I have already clicked on it. So yeah, so this is third iteration PSI blast third iteration so again the side query ID description database description program was used you can see alignment over here you just see the result ok so this is how you can go through the result and explore more so you can see how much identity is there, what are positives, how many gaps have been put up when alignment has occurred. So this is how you can see the result and interpret the result. Just scroll up. Now if you want to download the alignment then you can see okay. These are the highlighted sequences in yellow. Those are divergent sequences of third iteration. Okay, so that is third iteration for you. Now we will see delta blast. So delta blast, just select delta blast, keep all other parameters common, whatever we have kept for previous blast program. So just see the result. Delta plus. So, okay. So we'll just scroll down and see the alignment. Insulin-like growth factor, like superfamily. That is a detail of superfamily which is given. 
and you can see query sequence that is alignment in red color is the insulin free protein homo sapiens and second is synthetic construct of homo sapiens insulin and over here alignment yeah so that is the alignment result identity is 98 percent for over there we will see some other sequences ok so we want to download the alignment then we can select those sequences by clicking in those boxes ok and just click on download so we can download FASTA complete sequence aligned sequence chain back sequence whatever we want so we can download that I will just keep as FASTA sequence click continue and it just get downloaded over here. yeah you can see dot txt so if I want a chain bank sequence I can click on continue it will get downloaded over there in dot gb format ok if I click on that so it will open in a particular software which I have already loaded on my computer ok so you can see over there we will just close it so this is the downloaded sequence you can see on the right hand side as tv ok just close the window we will scroll up and see the result now okay. so in case of phi blast we will need to put a pattern so pattern is very much important so that's why I have not shown PHI blast over here this is how you can perform blast by using various tools ok so just go to NCBI go to protein select a sequence put your query get that sequence click on run blast and then put a session number over there choose any of these blast programs of your choice and then this is how you can perform blast ok and you can interpret the result by using blast program